Hi there, it's Donna from Heart of the Matter Professional Organizing. It's a beautiful Saturday afternoon and it's a great day for a spring tidy up of the garage and who would want to know that this is the garage of the professional organizer? Oh my gosh, things have accumulated here over the winter. Uh, you can see, first of all, the big white patches that you see here and there are our uh, snow tires. So they've come off the car. We've got uh, eight tires, two vehicles that they've come off of. So we've got eight tires to deal with. We've got a home for them in the back corner of the garage here. But you know, when we came home with them in the vehicles, we just set them in front. And so we need to deal with them. And so there's lots of other things here as well. So I wanted to just give you a before shot. We'll stop a couple of times and uh, actually do some work and come back and show you some during shots and some after shots. But wanted to start here with this one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the camera off and I'm going to do some sorting. That is the, always the first step. Sort like things together so you can see what you've got and get things, get homes created for them. In the case of our garage here, it's a fairly small garage. It's actually too small really for our vehicles. It's better uh, for us to just use it as a good storage space and that's what we do. So most of the things do have homes, things that are round and about here. So I will show you some during shots though as I'm sorting things out and uh, then we'll show you some after shots as well. So hold on, we'll do some sorting and we'll get back at it. Well, we're back and sometimes it does have to look worse before it looks better. Although I can't say maybe that this looks worse. It looks better than the last shot I showed you because we've got those tires dealt with. But let's just take a little walk around and I will show you what I've done here. So I mentioned that we want to sort. So all the things here at the end, the chair and those re recycling bins to go back in, that sort of thing, that's all stuff that's on its way to the house into the house. So rather than zigzagging around and getting distracted by taking it in during the process, I wait until this point where it can all go at once. And then I'm on a mission, I get it put away, and that's all there is to it, rather than getting distracted during the project. So I've got things there that are on their way into the house. I've got things, the egg carton, the cooler, that sort of stuff that's on its way to the van. So I will take those. I see my garbage can there. We did collect some garbage along the way. I just wanted to comment on those little white slats that are laying there. Those are the slats from mini blinds. Now, I uh, used a few of them, but someone gave me, actually it was the New Hamburg Thrift Shop, where I got that idea to write on them with Sharpie markers. If you're going to do some gardening work and you're putting in some new plants in the fall and you want to keep track of what they are and where they are, those slats are good things to write on and stick into the ground so that come the next spring, you know what you've got. Those are on their way to the garbage for me just because I've used all that I need to do. So let's take a little walk around the garage here. I mentioned before that everything needs a home and that includes things within your garage as well and setting up zones. So mine had a pretty good framework before the winter came and the spring when there was a bit of a became a bit of a dumping ground in here. So it's not going to take me long to put things back in order once I've got them sorted out. But let's have a look and see what sort of zones I've got here. On this uh, second shelf down here where you see the yellow pail and also down here on the bottom where that green bin is, those are all things that I'm collecting in different zones. The yellow is written right on the pail, battery recycling. So whenever we have used batteries, either that we get from clients or that we source out ourselves that need to have special recycling, they go into there. That wooden box there and the green one down at the bottom, those are ha household hazardous waste items. Again, anything that we generate or if we end up bringing a few things home from a client, I just collect them there and we take them all at once. Ideally, I would love the two of those side by side. That white cardboard box is household hazardous waste as well. But just because of the spacing of my shelves, I can't get them all right uh, together the way I'd like. You see our... Uh, Windshield washer antifreeze there as well. The blue bags are our salt for the winter. Again, I want to try and give everything that I can a home on a shelf rather than just sitting on the floor. 
I've got a bit of a messy zone here right now, but we're collecting things. Our daughter's getting married in a month or two. And uh, as we've come across things at thrift stores or people that have given us things, we're just kind of collecting them all together there. But again, it is a zone at least that like things are together. As we move along through the back here, again, all these things are going to get put away. But right now, I've got some shelving up there as well. There's a few things up on the top. Those cords are some things that are on its way to our son's house. Haley's got some weights there. The bottom is sort of the barbecue zone. We've got our grilling basket and tongs and that barbecue tools, that sort of thing. Coming around through here to the back, we've got a metal storage cupboard there. That has all my heart of the matter presentation supplies. So that's the storage zone for that. We've got our coolers up top the seats for our van have a home up top this is what i wanted to show you here with the tires when we moved into the house the previous owner had created this great ledge here that held a set of four tires just great this year we added four extra tires because we got snow tires for the van as well so now we have eight tires to house off season so that all worked out. I'm thankful that that got in there. We were debating if some of those had to go back into the shed at the back of the, the yard. And that seemed to me like we weren't, wouldn't be working smarter and harder if that was the case. I like them up here in the garage so it makes it easier for Murray in the fall. That orange thing that you see there is a chair that I put on my front porch in the fall. And I like to have that easy to access. And coming around this way, you see all our bag chairs hung Lots of big nails sticking out along there. Um, we've got our little uh, shrub trimmer and our beach umbrella. Up above there, a zone where we've got uh, any outdoor sprayers. The bins in the middle are gardening gloves and small shovels, all that sort of thing. Our watering cans are there. Up top, that's all Murray's just in case. He's a real Mr. Fix-It, so he's got all kinds of bits and pieces up there and even up between the beams in the garage as well, between the the beams up there. So again, lots of things given a home there. He's even bungee corded up uh, an ironing board there that's going to be for Haley when she moves out so that she can have that. There's some bike things there, a couple of extra tubes and tires, an extra seat. Now, sitting around are some random things here that I'm going to tuck over to the side, but that's our outdoor porch things for the for the summer there's that's what these bins are here as well those shelves on top are some things for Haley that twiggery wreath there that's part of the outdoor decor I'm going to get all of that together and along this side here then what we do year round on the floor level is where we line up all of our recycling bins we have quite a few because I often bring home some recycling from clients as well and those blue bags that are hanging there we collect our paper there and take it to the New Hamburg thrift shop because they have a fundraising paper bin there as well that uh, kind of beige colored piece of wood that you can see that has an unpainted section in the middle that's actually the cover for our air conditioner Murray takes it off it's off now in the spring and summer and uh, we just stand it right up against the wall there behind the recycling bins that's its home for the summer and then he puts it back on again for the fall and winter and just coming up along here, we've got a home for plastic shopping bags. We often use those as part of our recycling to put bits of plastic into. We have a few grocery bags hanging there that are the ones that we have. Rather than having them in our vehicle where we have our main supply, we keep a few there so that when we want to walk to the store, if there's no vehicle at home, someone can just grab them there and go as well. Okay, so then just coming out, I pulled a few things out into the driveway got a few things here that are on their way to the shed at the back these are our snow shovels we don't keep them in the garage all year round a few things that we alternate back to the shed so we'll we'll take those back today as well as part of our tidy up now here are this little zone here where we've got the rake and we've got some extension cords this is the stuff that I sorted together because I want to give this a home up off the floor and I don't really have shelf space. Obviously it's a rake, we wouldn't have shelf space for that. But I'm going to talk with Murray, we're going to brainstorm an idea to get a few hooks up so some of those things can come up off the floor. So that would be part of organizing your garage as well. You think about what you can get up and off the floor. 
And then this pile of stuff here, we've got our, our blue IKEA donation bag, those seat covers, I don't, or seat uh, pillows, I don't need those anymore. There's a backrest for a vehicle there. There's a bit of um, scrap metal, um, an old lamp. There's a good piece of uh, good rubber hose there. All those are things that I'm going to donate. So as I was working today, I just put all that together. I didn't have an extra donation bag handy, so some of it's sitting there waiting for me to grab a bag out of the van get those off to uh, to uh, donation and then my blue bins are here we've just been accumulating things as we as we go along today so I will uh, get things put fully back together give the floor a quick sweep and then we'll give you one final look well it's Donna back again a couple of hours have passed since we first came out and first started working on the garage here you know, it's gone pretty well, and this is more what I would like to see in the garage. Everything is back in its home. There's some things that were taken out to the shed out back. There was some things that were taken into the house, some things that were taken into our vehicles that belonged there, some donations that were packed up, ready to go to the thrift shop. Garbage and recycling bins are set out to the curb because tomorrow's our day, and it is feeling much better in here. So. Remember the few catchphrases that we always like to think about as the foundation for being organized. Everything needs a home, then don't put it down, put it away. And you know what? Sometimes we don't always put it away, but if everything has a home, then you can fairly quickly get things back in order the way you like to see them.